behind me. And he stood up and said, why don't you shut the fuck up, bitch? You're only pissed off because he's prettier than you. Oh, oh, nice. And when that happened, I knew I had found who I was and there was not ever going to be any kind of... I had to hide the makeup and stuff from my parents when mm -hmm. I left for school, but I started wearing makeup and jewelry and girls' clothes to school. I just hid it like other girls hide their slutty clothes from their parents, you know? Mm -hmm. That was kind of my methodology. Yeah, I don't know why you looked at, Han uh, at Candace when you said that, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and yeah, you don't strike me as the hide and slutty clothes girl. No. Although, although, uh, and I know you've modeled. Uh -huh. You seem to have a modeling past, don't you? No. There's that picture on Instagram and Twitter. Is that you? Which one? The one of you naked. The naked. one that's naked. There's a, your Instagram and your Twitter have a picture. Of a long-legged blonde girl that's uh, is sans clothing. That is not me. Okay, I was wondering. That is the girl I dated. Ah, there you go. Good that for her. <laughs> well, I opened mouth and inserted foot with the B comment. Huh? <laughs> I was wondering who that was. <coughs> and. Uh, that's just someone from my past. Ah, yeah. very nice. Sorry. Okay. I, I don't. Can, I don't even know that because it, she knows that it's not there. Okay, but there's there's a picture of you with blonde hair though. Is it? Or is that her? No, that's also her. Okay. I'm very confused. Anyway. Well, I kind of like that I just confused you. No. Because <laughs> normally I'm the one that's being confused. Well, no. I, I want to make things very clear. You just directed a movie. Yes, I did. And uh, it's called... It, uh, why is it cumbersome title? I'm Women of Miranda. Horror. No, no. Women of Horror. Mother's Day. Terror Tale. Yes, because there's going to be m more episodes coming. Right. Out. We're going to turn it into like a a series. So the, uh, now we wanted that one to come out um, for Mother's Day. Right. We had that idea. Now the woman of horror was that because of this whole incident in at uh, in, in, in a horror hound, or did you have that concept before? Well, it was a concept that we were. Kick I mean, my my girlfriend Violet and I like wrote that. Ah. So we consider ourselves women of horror. Okay. And yeah, maybe it was a little bit of a, here's your little, you want to see some real women of horror, take a look at what we're doing. Right. So we and don't Viol draw lines. And Violet, <laughs> Violet plays, Violet plays. Oh, in the movie? Yeah. yeah well, she's the narrator in the movie. Yes. Yes. It's a, a Bella Morte? Mm -hmm. I'm asking you questions. You know. Oh, no, that's correct. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm shaking my head. I forget I'm on like... <laughs> you right? Do I smell? I feel like no. No, I'm, it, I'm sweating it. so much. No, it's stop it. with Febreze when it starts to get No, no, trust me. <laughs> the studio smelled far worse than... Well, you know, Mark, you kind of like, you get my heart beating a little faster whenever I'm around you. And that was really Aww. fun. Do I really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wasn't that fun when I walked into the theater and I was totally in costume? I was gonna get to that. You were all, you were all, uh, yes. You were all, yeah. You, you. I, I don't want to spoil it. No, because everybody should watch it. It's out on Amazon. Everybody should watch it. But the, you are. Uh, you, there's a surprise at the end, and oh. you're in very macabre makeup. Yes, I am. Yes, I was very surprised. That was fun. But th that now that is com something completely different than what I am Miranda and everything yes. we were doing. There. This is based on the '80s horror movies. Mm -hmm. Like uh, like Creep Creepshow, I, I I imagine is, is one of the inspirations. That is an inspiration. What are the other inspirations for this? Um, Tales from the Crypt. Mm -hmm. you know, good. Always love that. It's it's an anthology movie. Mm -hmm. There's uh, fifteen or how many? But was it 15 in the end? I, I, I think that's what I read. Yeah. I just saw and the trailer, and I, and I appreciate that you're putting my voice in the trailer. That was nice. Well, of course. We loved having you on board with yes. us. Yes, yes. So, that, so, that's very, so that was very interesting. So, yes. So you, you actually had shot all the, some of these shorts, or all of these shorts already, and now you package them together. And we package them together. And your, your girlfriend, Bella Morte, is, is kind of an Elvira meets the Crypt Keeper sort of narrator. Absolutely. And she has a, she has a mother. Mm -hmm. Needs waking up, so you call the goth comedian, and I won't spoil it. Don't spoil it, please. Let everybody see it. So what's what's the next uh, Women of Horror? What's the next uh, holiday? Christmas? Halloween? 
I can't really tell you. I'm really sorry. I wish I could. No, but is are the is the Morte family going to be in this one again? Um, again, I really, I okay. No, listen. <laughs> I'm, I'm really under, digging I, deep here. I I am under I'm I'm under contract. Okay. So like I, I really can't speak about what I'm working on. I can okay. speak about what I've already released. All right. Well, who was you, who inspired you to become a director? Um. Well, I just really, after editing so much, mm -hmm. and then especially which is tedious work. Right. Um. But uh. I wanted to just. I could see in my head how things piece together, and right. I wanted to just take a script and just like n kind of nip it at the bud, where I'm the one I can like see the cuts in my yeah. head while I'm directing it. Right. So therefore, I know I'm always able to get the shots, and really, um, it was it was doing the Miranda movie that made me want to do that. That's why I took all the other footage and then directed my right. own version right. of what we had shot. And then I wanted to direct my own thing that I wrote. And so right. now we're, we're going to move forward with that. And then I was also directing um, Haunted Routes, yes, a uh, few of those. And uh, one of them is up for uh, a couple tellies right now. That's great. Uh, Mill, uh, no. Matt Gill and Candace. <laughs> Mill? Mill. No, Can no. we? <laughs> Matt Gill and Candace went across the country, found haunted places. And the one, the one haunted place that scared you that you said that last time we showed, it was a doll. Mm. Yes, dolls and puppets uh, creep yes. you out. Yes. Uh, yeah, and then the, the the clown motel is also really creepy. Oh, you don't like clowns? And then, well, actually, and then uh, this one that's up is uh, the, uh, in Santa Barbara with the Charman. And, like, What's the Charman? Supposedly, it's someone that like was burned completely, mm. and uh, if you park in certain places, you can see them. Ooh. Now. Matt and Gil said they didn't see him, but I swear I saw something. <laughs> I swear to God I did, but they said that they didn't, but I know I did. Mm -hmm. But um, they, I don't know, maybe it's just my head playing tricks on me. <laughs> don't you ever move to an old building in New Orleans if that scares you? Oh, yeah. Have you ever been to New Orleans? You, you saw before. That's not a problem. Um, no, I, yeah, I, I've been there a couple times, but um, I'm not a drinker, so to me right. it's just not that fun. Well, because there's it's, <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, I'm checking. I don't like to change my headspace like that. Yes, but uh, no, so you, so you grew up in New Orleans, uh -huh. and uh, the um, I wow, where does the time go? It's uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to balance all these stories with you. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, I don't know how deep you want to go with this. Go where you want to go. Okay, well I you know where I want to go, but I'm trying to go say ahead. that say that for the end. How did you get from New Orleans to L.A.? I originally came to LA in 1989 because my best friend decided to come out here first and I was supposed to keep our apartment together in New Orleans and she was just going to be here for the summer. Mm -hmm. Well, she met Eddie Murphy who became a regular trick of hers because we were prostituting and we were teenagers. Right. Well, that, that, that's, I, I, that's why I probably should have prefaced with that because you yeah. were... You were working at strip club, you were... Yes. I left home at 14 years old. So, at 14 and being trans in 1984, mm -hmm. you had no options but to get on the corner and suck the dick and shut the fuck up about it. I mean, those were your options. Mm -hmm. So, or go back home and don't do it. And for me, I would have rather... I had this thing in my head about the age 18. Because everyone kept saying when I was a kid, Oh, when you're 18, you're going to be such good man and that word man and I had a thing about if I can't do this before I turn 18 I, I'm just gonna fucking kill myself I'm not right. gonna live if you, if you didn't do I it if you not, didn't try it before yeah. you were 18 you would have I was not going yourself to live man. one single day of my adult life as a male I refused okay and that's what kicked off the fight between me and my mother where she threw me out at 14 but yeah um my best friend was with Eddie one night and in New Orleans? Said, no, out here. Oh, okay. I was back home in New Orleans. So, so the rumors are true. Oh, the rumors have been true for decades, <laughs> and I could tell you about a few other names. Okay, but that's a friend of mine's story, so I'm not, I'm, right, I'm not really right, allowed right. to say those names. Let's just say they're hot, big names. Um. Hmm. Anyway, Trevor my best Medusa friend. Or, uh, uh, one of them is. One of the most famous attorneys in the world, and the other one was a superhero, and that's as far as I'll go with that. 
But it's um, not Trevor, our producer. I'm just kidding. No, it's not Trevor, the producer. Although you're very cute. Thank you. Um, I'm neither 